Hey guys, Norman here. Today I'm going to put decals on my um, Spitfire here. Spitfire model. So yeah. So I have all my stuff in. Here's your Spitfire. It's uh, it, it was really hard to make it. Like, the propellers weren't on. The winds weren't on. Uh, the plane wasn't even, like, you see that little crack you had in here was split together. Those winds weren't on. I had super glue everything on. So it was really tough. Um, here's the box and everything. Um, I didn't put a lot of, I didn't put on a wheels and stuff, because I didn't really figure on doing it. I kind of prefer without stick. Uh, the wheels, so anyways. Um, so how we do it. And, yeah. So here, we have it. Again, got our water. Stickers. Decals. They're a bit wet, because I have them already. And, yeah. So... Let's get into this. Alright, so here we go. Here we got everything, as you can see. So we're gonna do this. Okay, so we have my bowl of water here. Yeah. Um, so let's read the instructions. Okay, so what it says is it's just um, cut off the decal from the sheet. Get off this water off really quick. Okay, so we've got to cut it off from the sheet, and we're gonna do that now. Actually, I need scissors really quick, so I'll be right back. All right, so here I got my first one right here, and we're gonna put it in the water for ten seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take it out. Okay, it's not not fully good yet. It said ten seconds, so try to rub it off. It's rubbing off a bit. Okay, we got it. It's like slimy almost. So this one goes on the wing. So they're very easy to rip. So we gotta be careful. Um, yeah. Put it on here. Yeah. Gotta be so careful. Got it. Press it on there. And there we go. Got it on there. Um, in the shadow, you can't really see. But I'll show you at the end of the video what it all looks like. So now let's do the second decal. Um, it's done there. Let's cut it off really quick. Um, okay. Okay, so uh, cut this off really quick. Okay, so I got it cut off now. There it is. So we're we'll dipping water for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. Let's dip it in a couple times like this. Okay, so we'll rub it off. It's not ready to come off yet, so we'll keep on going. Should be good now. It is good. Ah, see, I told ya. Very easy to rip, very delicate, and we ripped it. Man. We just started to. Okay. Ah, man. Oh, well. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause the camera really quick. Haha! -ha! When there's a problem, you can always fix it. I, um, it's not the best and coolest thing in the world, but it was my, my only option. Um, so you can't really see in the dark, but I scraped off, I straight, I scraped off some of the paint, so now it looks like, like there's a bullet that hit right there and, and just went right down through. So I think I did the right thing. Um, I'll work on it a bit later because it's not really good right now, but I will go good. So yeah. Next one, a very hard one. This one has to go inside the plane. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi. I can't get it too wet or it would rip. And I can't get it too dry because then I'll have to 
um, pull it off rougher, then it'll rip again. So, I'm gonna let it dry for like a couple seconds. Uh, any good? Nope. Soldier boy, I really. Oh, watch me whip it, watch me off. I didn't send it right, but who cares? Who cares? Okay! Yes, guys! Did not rip! Woohoo! Okay, guys, there it is on the side of the planet. It looks sick. Okay, let's get the other one cut out. Cut out. Let's see this. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, eleven Mississippi, uh, twelve Mississippi, thirteen Mississippi, fourteen Mississippi, and fifteen Mississippi. I went to fifteen this time because obviously ten wasn't working for us. Not one went up to ten seconds, like literally. Okay. Okay, it's not slimy. When it's slimy, you know it's ready to come off. Oop, lost in the water. Shake it. Okay, it's gonna come off. Ooh, it's rubbing. It's wrinkling. That's a bad sign. It might rip. So gotta be gentle. Um, you got this. Okay, got it. Yep. Oh, it's so slimy. That's gross, man. Boy. Now, last step, put on the letters, and we are finished the Spitfire. Let's get a couple of I got a lot of letters to put on, so I'm just going to show one le letter that I'll put on, then I'll show you what the plan looks like. So, what at 1, Mississippi 2, Mississippi 3, Mississippi 4, Mississippi 5, Mississippi 6, Mississippi 7, Mississippi 8, Mississippi 9, Mississippi. Oh, God. Okay, that's probably 12 now. 14, Mississippi, and a couple more seconds. Ooh, it's almost done. It's really slimy. I don't know why it gets slimy, but it does. Okay, yeah, it's slimy. It still doesn't want to come off. Okay. Well, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Cut to five. Okay, it's wrinkling. Uh oh. Hey. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, come on, come on. Hey, we did it, boys! Alright, guys. We are done. I can't, I thought I would have done better, but I actually love it. It's my first model, so can't really blame me. So I think the, I'm waiting for the decals to dry. So I just did random codes. Q, L, that's an L. I ripped off, I accidentally ripped off the other part of the L. Um... Right there, that's what I was talking about. I made it like there was there was a shot right there, so I just made a bit of weathering. It looks kind of bad, but who cares? <laughs> um, that one's okay. Uh, windshield full of glue, <laughs> but still looks nice. Um, we've got our flags here. B W um, symbol, and I got that one. And it's on the other side. Like, this one I don't get. In here, it looks like blue. But on here, it's black. Like, in real life, it's black. I don't get that. So, yeah, that's that. Um, hope you enjoyed. Um, hopefully, you um, get a hint of how to put on decals from this. Um, if you want one of these, um, you could probably find one online. Or, if you're in PEI, Charlottetown close to there um um in a giant parking lot there's a lot of buildings it's like a mall outside malls like Toys R Us everything there it's like a parking lot but there's buildings around it and there's a store called Great Hobbies and that's where I got it they have all kinds of like drone kits planes that you can fly models like this and it's not even war models too like they have like a hundred World War II thing it's so much every country too that Allies and Axis in World War II, Vietnam, surprisingly the Gulf War, uh, World War One, and modern combat. So, if you want to pick one of these up? Great hobbies here in PEI Shelltown. Um, and yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like and subscribe. Um, I might get a couple more kits and do another review on them. And before I end it off, I just want to take a little quick look 
at the packaging. It's still drying, so I had to be really careful with it. Like the decals are still drying and it's wet. Man, it looks so good. So yeah, take a look. So it has the model here. They animated that, make it look like we're spinning. Um, you know, they got the wheels and everything on. Way better painting and everything. Uh, that little flag, I actually had it, but it snapped. It was pretty sad, because there's supposed to be like a little sticker rope. Like, it was kind of like a sticker, but at the same time the rope. It's supposed to connect there, because Spitfires actually has like a little antenna rope thing going across, and I was supposed to have it. Jeez, it's a long video. God. Um, so here's the side. It just shows the sides of it, company and all that. You know, another picture of it. And it says the exact same thing as there. And in Japanese. Oh, it's a Warbird collection. So you can get more of these. Not just Spitfires. You can get German, as I said. I'm not sure if there's Mime and Combat in that collection, but I don't know. So yeah. If I were to get another plane, there's a British World War, uh, British and Canadian. We were in the Commonwealth, so uh, we both used it. And it was a World War One plane, and this one was metal. So this one was metal, but it was a lot easier to make because... And you still have the glue and everything, but it was very much smaller. And yeah, so hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. Go subscribe to Stem the the Game here. Um, Jacob, if you're watching right here, yes, guys, Jacob and the channel. He moved to Ontario, and so he might come visit, but he's not going to be in a lot of videos. Maybe, sadly, probably not going to happen though. Any more videos? But. Hopefully he will. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Gone. 12 minute video. Crazy. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you liked it. And if you didn't like it, don't leave a comment of how you hate it. And bye.